Finishing uh, the last of my pro gym shake following a killer bicep and triceps workout. So today's tip of the day is on protein. No, I'm not talking about protein powders. I'm just talking about protein intake in general. A new study from McMaster University in Canada had obese subjects follow a four week intensive strength training program. They trained six days a week with weights and high intensity interval training, HIIT. Plus, they were on a calorie deficit diet. And did I already mention these were young male obese subjects? They took those subjects and split them up into two groups. One group consumed a high protein diet, one gram per pound of body weight. The other group consumed a lower or normal protein diet of around half a gram per pound of body weight. What did they find at the end of the four weeks? Well, they found that the group consuming more protein lost more body fats. That's right, the group consuming a higher amount of protein lost around 11 pounds of body fat in four weeks. Body fat, not body weight. 11 pounds of body fat simply by eating more protein while following a calorie deficit diet. Now the group getting lower protein intake also lost body fat because they were eating less. They lost around only seven pounds of body fat. So the group consuming more protein had a significantly greater loss in body fat. Plus, the plus here guys, the group getting more protein gained muscle, about three pounds of muscle. The group getting the lower protein gained no muscle at all, okay? So, high protein. Now, now another point I'd like to make about this study is these subjects were in a calorie deficit diet. Where are all those experts who are saying you can't build muscle while you're losing body fat? You can't build muscle in a calorie deficit diet. It's impossible. Oh, well, I've been saying that all along. If you don't want to listen to the results that I'm getting and the gym army is getting from a higher protein diet, here's a study for you. They built muscle while in a calorie deficit diet. Okay, plain and simple. Now, another thing I'd like to say is I would have loved to see in a third group, a group getting 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, which is my preferred number. Now, what would happen with that group? Well, I'll tell you. If they had a group that was also getting the same calories, but were up to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, that group would lose more body fat than even the one gram group and gain more muscle. It's really that simple. It works, guys. Now, I will say that the two groups had very similar strength gains. Now, the researchers did mention that they were surprised by this fact. Well, I and anyone else who understands muscle physiology and resistance training am not surprised. These were beginners. It was a four-week program. What is responsible for the strength gains that beginners make in the first few weeks of training, even few months. Neurological adaptations, that's right. Your nerve fires to the muscle change. They get synchronized. They learn how to fire better so you can be stronger. That's how you make strength gains as a beginner. The gains in muscle mass really don't start contributing to muscle strength until a few months of training. And this is one of the problems I have with a lot of the research that's being done out there is people who can't even interpret the data. It's a great study, a great study on protein, fat loss, muscle gain. But again, I'd like to see another a higher group. Remember, there was a recent study showing that 1.5 grams built more muscle than one gram. So I wish these researchers added another group with higher protein, really high protein. One gram is average protein intake for me, for athletes. For anyone who's training, you should be getting one gram. Bare minimum, nothing less. But I would love to see a 1.5 gram group. And I would love them to understand muscle physiology when you're doing a study about resistance training and protein. Do your homework, please. So anyway, a high protein diet is more effective for losing body fat and simultaneously building muscle. Simultaneously losing body fat in a calorie deficit diet while building muscle. Who knew that was possible? Well, I knew and the gym army knew 
because I'm not telling you guys what I think works. I'm telling you what I know works. 1.5 grams of protein. That's how you get leaner. That's how you get bigger all simultaneously. So continue eating at least 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And as always, stay gym army strong.